Welcome everyone for a new episode of Catch Up with the Clergy. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about St. Peter. And that wouldn't surprise you probably because I'm named after him. Actually, I'm named after my grandfather and he was named after his grandfather. So the name Peter is already a long time in my, uh, in my family. But originally it goes back to this Peter, uh, St. Peter. Uh, one of the disciples of Jesus and the first Pope. Um, St. Saint, Saint Peter fascinates me because he is so spontaneous. That's one of the things that what I like about St. Peter. Um, he is the one who professes uh, that Jesus is the Christ. Uh, Jesus and his disciples, they go up north in the Golan Heights uh, and then uh, around Caesarea Philippi uh, they gather and Jesus is asking um, who do the people say that I am and then he says who do you say that I am so the people come up with all kinds they say Elijah they say John the Baptist and then St. Peter says you are the Christ the son of the living God so he is the first one among the disciples who professes that. And the, the other disciples never said that before. So Peter is the first one who professes that Jesus is the Christ. But, you know, at the same time, he is also the one who betrays Jesus. And when um, at, at, the, at the end in Jerusalem, he denies that he knows Jesus. Three times even. So. That's Peter. Peter is as well a very faithful person, but he is also very human and very weak. And I think we all recognize some of that in ourselves. And that we are faithful people, but at the same time we are weak people and we are struggling. So that's St. Peter. St. Peter, in all his weakness, became the first um, and the, the first leader after Jesus. Jesus uh, called Peter to shepherd the flock at the Lake of Galilee. Um, and they, they came together and um, Jesus says to him, Peter, to, uh, Peter do you love me? And then uh, he says that till three times. And of course the three times that refers to uh, the, the, the denial of Peter. So Peter gets sad because he knows how uh, and that he denied Jesus. But still, Jesus, uh, uh, Jesus wants Peter to tend the flock. He is, um, he is the one uh, um, uh, to succeed Jesus here on earth after Jesus' death and resurrection. So Peter becomes the, the first pope and eventually he ends up in Rome. And why in Rome? Because that's the center of the ancient world. And the, Roman, uh, the Roman Empire, and the, 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 the head of the Roman Empire, the emperor, uh, had his seat in, in, in Rome. And that's where Peter ended up. And that was not easy. Um, so even though Peter denied Jesus, and there is a story that he wanted that he wanted to uh, to flat from Rome. Uh, also, and this Peter, so Peter didn't want to deal with it anymore. There were uh, persecution persecutions of Christians in Rome, and Peter uh, wanted to leave. So there is um, there is the famous ancient road, the Via Appia, and there on the Via Appia there is a, a particular church that refers to the to the fact that he, that Peter wanted to flat from Rome and that's called Quo Vadis. Where do you go Peter? So Peter wanted to leave the city but then Christ appeared to him and said Quo Vadis Peter. Where do you want to go Peter? In other words go back to Rome. That's where you should be. Um, so Peter, of course, came back to Rome. Uh, he, he decided to uh, to turn around and to go back 
uh, to the city where he eventually died. Uh, he was um, he was martyred, uh, and eventually he died in uh, in Rome. In uh, and, and they buried him on the place where today Saint Peter's uh, Basilica is. There was um, there was a, a pagan cemetery, and Peter was buried there after he was uh, martyred and killed by the Romans. And he was buried on that pagan cemetery, and um, so that's and then uh, Christians started to come there uh, to venerate. Uh, uh, the tomb of, P of Peter and then uh, the tomb became a little chapel and the chapel became a church and then eventually uh, and the, 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 the first St. Peter's Basilica was uh, built, a Romanesque church and that one was taken down and was replaced with the current uh, St. Peter's Basilica. Um, so maybe some of you know that uh, if you have been in Rome, you know that uh, St. Peter's uh, tomb is right under the main altar of the St. Peter's Basilica. And that's where the tomb of Peter is situated. Um, and also, this pagan cemetery is still underneath the St. Peter's Basilica. Uh, you can go underneath, um, it's called the Scavi. You can go through the Scavi and uh, yeah, that leads you through the through the ancient uh, cemetery. With uh, the the graves are more like little houses uh, with entrances, and uh, and, um, and and you can go into them. And uh, so it's very interesting. So you can take a tour through that cemetery, and then you end up at Saint Peter's tomb, right under the main altar of Saint Peter. So Saint Peter. As the, as the first pope, um, he, is, he is human like we are and, and that strengthens me in faith because sometimes I feel so weak and I feel not strong enough and, but, but Peter learns me that uh, we all are humans and Jesus knows about that and he still loves us and he still wants us to be uh, uh, a sheep of his flock. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.